What up guys, back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions again. Going to be running this Tar Amps Base 15K one more time. I know you guys had some issues with my voltage before. And I just have a theory that uh, a single run, I guess two runs of uh, 2 watt to the Base 15K is insufficient. I think we dynoed the cable on the last runs. So we've beefed things up. We've added some four gauge, some four aught rather, to the to the bank connections. Uh, moved my charger to my lithium, and I'm running some dual inputs on the base 15k now. And uh, we did get some gains in my earlier testing, and voltage was staying right at the top of my battery voltage. So here we are. I want to show you guys. There's the bank again. It's the same bank. We just reconfigured it. Same chargers. And I'm ready to do a certified run, so let's go ahead and get to it. So, one ohm. Starting at 14.5 volts. Ten thousand four hundred fifty-eight watts certified. Dropped to twelve point five. Two ohm run certified. Gonna let my power supplies catch up just a second. All right, certified two ohm run, starting at 14.5 volts. Seven thousand five hundred forty-nine watts, dropped to thirteen point three volts. Four ohms. Starting at fourteen point six volts. Four thousand four hundred eleven watts dropped to fourteen point one volts. And I think we'll get some more power out of it uncertified. We'll start at one ohm uncertified. Here we go, starting at 14.5 volts. Ten thousand eight hundred nine watts, drop to twelve point two volts. Two ohm run. Just letting my power supplies do their thing. Right. Uncertified two ohm run. Seven thousand five hundred seventy five watts and four ohms uncertified. Yeah. 
starting at 14.6. 4,431 watts. Not sure that was right. I'm going to try that again. Just didn't look like it went all the way to distortion that time. I did. Okay. On to the dynamic runs. Now this amp made quite a bit more power for me with the with the dyno upgrades uh, in my testing earlier today. So. See if you guys see the same increase that I did earlier. So we're going to do a one ohm dynamic. Starting at 12,709 watts. Two ohm. Thousand forty six watts, and we'll do a four ohm run. Four thousand four hundred ninety five watts. Now I want to show you guys something. I'm going to go back to this 1 ohm. I want you guys to see what these cables do on this 1 ohm run. It did it before, but it, st it still does it even with all these uh, extra runs. I don't know if you can see that on the video. The cables are jumping with the current. Almost 13,000 on that run. So there you go guys. Hopefully you're pleased with the upgrades I did. I know it's not doing 15,000 watts but it is what it is. My bank should, should uh, support 15,000 watts now. So let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and like, subscribe. See you on the next one.